Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Hi guys, and welcome to One Minute Tennis Coach. Today we've got a very unusual um, lesson or explanation for you. One of the things that's puzzled me over a long period of time is why do some people hit the ball so much harder than others? Why is it so easy for Roger Federer to hit the ball effortlessly and with such power and spin? Why is Alcaraz the latest new sensation from Spain? How come his forehand is so powerful? It looks exactly the same as all the other forehands and yet something is different. How is it that Federer can serve his top speed service 143 miles an hour, but the guy is only six foot one? He's not the largest guy in the world. Where does that speed come from? You could also ask this question about great golfers, the guys that hit 300 yards with no effort whatsoever. And whenever I talk to sports professionals, tennis coaches or golf coaches about this problem, I'm always met with the same answer. And that is they say, oh, it's timing. I hate the word timing. You see, if you use timing as an answer, then how can that help you or me to actually reproduce this incredible power that these, uh, this select group of players seem to have? Today, I've got a little idea that will take us some of the way into adding power to your game and it added power to my game. Now, the key to the maximum power that we can possibly achieve with our swing has two factors. One is that the weight is moving forward exactly at the moment of contact with the ball. And we'll cover that in a different session. But the other one is that the racket angle is exactly perfect for the contact with the ball. It may be slightly closed or it may be absolutely at 90 degrees to the ground, depending on the swing path, but it has to be absolutely perfect. For those of us, that's the vast majority of you guys watching and for me that overthink this game, then the logical thinking is totally useless in this process. You see, if I was hitting a forehand and I said to you, oh, we need to tilt the racket 1.3 millimeters more to the thumb, or we need to pull the racket 0.01% uh, back to the little finger at contact. <laughs> this is useless. In fact, it's so bizarre, it's stupid. So we're gonna have to learn this with feel and to get the right feeling, we're going to have to have an instant feedback that's correct and gives us an idea of how to adjust. And to do this, we're gonna use a strange idea. What I have here is a noodle float, like from the swimming pool. You can get them almost anywhere in the world. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing my forehand and I'm going to hit the noodle. So I place the noodle in front of me and I swing and I hit it. And the contact here was with one side of the racket. There was a dull sound and a dead feeling when I hit it. Now I'm going to bring the noodle closer to being flush to the racket. And now I make the stroke and I hear two sounds and I have two feelings as the racket frame hit first on one side and then on the other. And now I try to adjust it until I have a perfect contact. This is better, but this is great. Once again, average, poor, and great. The same on the serve. I place the noodle into the point of contact with the ball. And now, poor, very good. And great. You can hear the difference. I can feel the difference and you'll be able to feel the difference as well. Use this, you can practice on your own. You can practice if you've got enough space in your house, or your apartment or your garden and get the feel of great ball striking. Because when you get this incredible sound, then the feeling is of one contact. The sound is an instant like a rifle going off and that's the difference between the great ball strikers and the rest of the human race. Try this now, see how it works in your game. You know we love your comments and your feedback. Uh, we always reply. It's a very strange idea, but trust me, it really works. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe the channel if you like these lessons. And remember, if you need more help with your game, then we do a unique one-to-one -one online tennis consultation. We do video analysis, personalized training, and a whole lot more. The link to that's below. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.